Shalom brothers and sisters, I'm Deacon Abiel. We're here at the BET Experience here in Los Angeles, California. IUIC, matter of fact, we're gonna change this to the IUIC Experience because LA heard this word today. What we do is we go out in these streets to teach our people who they are according to the Bible and that they gotta keep God's commandments and faith in His Son. We've had a lot of people that have come against us, but we've had even more learn who they are, agree, and actually wanna come out. LA. This, this is almost like it's fertile ground out here. There's a lot of fruit that can be gathered up out here. We gotta put this work in. All praise be to the Most High God as using us, as he always does, to bring about this word and we will continue to put in this work. I, I really, really encourage all of you all that, that love us and support us to help us out. This is how we're able to set up these different schools in these different cities throughout the world is by your help. We need brothers and sisters who are dedicated to the Most High God, who are dedicated to this cause, which the cause is Christ's cause, to waking up our people and teach them the commandments. Support us by any means necessary. We're gonna make this thing happen. All praise be to the Most High God and His Son. We in this thing. Let's get it in. Rebellious house! They are rebellious house! Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans don't want to hear nothing. Right. That's why you continue to walk off and do what you want to do. Right. They don't want to hear about who they are and that they're the greatest thing on this earth. Right. And that Jesus Christ was sent for them. Right. Right. They don't want to hear that. You know what they want to hear? Where, where the party at tonight, y'all? Right. Oh, I just seen Fanny walk down the street. Right. Oh, young thug, look at him. He must be a great pillar in the community. Right. Our people are so sleep and sick. Right. Good Lord. Yes, shall know that, that there has been a prophet among them. Yes, that what? Yes. The wicked flees when no man pursue it. So we're not pursuing it, brother. We just read the law on slavery. So they don't want to admit this is why they are uh, Bernie Sanders, some of y'all like Bernie Sanders, some of y'all like Hillary Clinton. They asked both of those presidential candidates, what do you feel about reparations for the slaves? They said, no, no, no. Let's give them jobs. So then we stink back and scratch. They just gave reparations to the so-called Jewish men in Israel, $7 billion. Bring it out! They just gave reparations to the Japanese from World War II. Not only the Japanese, but their descendants. What? What America has seen that, you understand? There is an Afro-American, there is a, a Jamaican, there is a Haitian, there is a Puerto Rican, there is a Cuban, like you just said. But these are the names that that came from slavery. This is not our name. This is our name. This is our political name. Now let's see what the Bible says. Yeah, four. The book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning. Whatever was written for aforetime, that was written for our learning. Arsaret. And that same region is called Arsaret, all right? And there's an excerpt from the Jewish Encyclopedia.com. Got it? Yes. Read it. The 1906 Jewish Encyclopedia definition of Arzeret, the name of the land beyond the Great River, for the away Euphrates River, like we read in the scriptures. Go ahead. For away from the habitation of men, a man went from the country where never mankind dwelt. Go ahead. In which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. They said they will dwell, meaning they will still be here today. Go ahead. Observing the law of Moses until the time of restoration. As now that we're coming back, we're observing the law, statutes, and commandments of God until Christ returns and restores this earth to us. Not maybe, read. Here is the patience. And this is our patience because we, we get so mad at the official, we 
want to do something about it. But the Lord said, have patience. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right? Right. In the faith. And the what? In the faith. And the what? In the faith. And this is what the faith is. That we ain't going to be stuck in American society in the ghettos and on the bars. Right. That's right. And the Lord is going to put the spirit back upon our people. We will rule the earth. That's right. why we have faith. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh-huh. If ye love me. Now God said, if ye love me, keep my commandment. Those are the things that was written a four times. That's right. Read. So now first, if you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. Now, once you keep his commandments, let's see what's going to happen. Read on. And I will pray the Father. Then the Christ will pray to the Father for you once you keep his commandments. And he shall give you another comforter. And he shall give you another comforter. Jump down to verse 26. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. Uh-huh. But the comforter. But the comforter, the Bible, which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Because you see a lot of people shaking their shoulders. men, come on. Set all in the streets. Community. Hold on, say where? Set all in the streets. In the church house. All in the streets. Wherever they kicking it at. All in the streets. In the streets where you see us at. Come on. Communing together. Why? Teaching what? The gospel. Come on. A good thing. Of what? A good thing. The good things, the good tidings, the, the gospel. That's what we've been out of here teaching, correct? Right. Are we living by what this Bible says? Right. But you can see it. We out in the streets communing of good things. Right. Come on. And the young men. Come on. Put on glorious and warlike apparel. What kind? Glorious and warlike apparel. What is that W word? What? Warlike apparel. Clothing fit for war.